on out and climb past the debug man and welcome to Backyard Buggin. I want to talk a little bit about wetter. We have many different varieties of wetter. My favourite, really, is the cave weather. Look at that lovely bronze model. Long antennae, lives in the caves, white tomo, you know what I mean. Scares the living daylights out of people. But mm, I love them. We've also got ground wetter that live in the ground in tunnels or in rotting logs. We've got things like uh, tusked wetter. They've got long tusks, really rare. And of course, we've got giant wetter, but only on offshore island and special reserves. But with predator-free New Zealand, there will come a time that we can get those wetter back onto the mainland and anywhere you want, as long as there are no predators. But I really want to talk about tree wetter. I'll show you these ones. This is a tree wetter that most people will know. They're famous for ending up in your gum boots and places like that. Yes, they bite, but they are absolutely brilliant to have a look at. Let me show you. Look at this long antennae. Smell. She can smell everything that's going on around her. She can hear. She's got ears on her front legs, right there. And this is how they communicate with other partners with which they live, other wetter. She's got long hind legs with spikes. Look at those spikes. Whoa! When you are a predator and you want to eat them and they stick those spikes in your face, you will desist. You won't do that and that's their defense. There are also really cool Cersei. You see those there? These are little feelers with which she can measure temperature, wind speed, vibrations, probably even relative humidity and barometric pressure. Which means that when she comes out at night to go feeding, she can stick her bottom out of wherever she is and go like, I wonder what the weather is going to do. What do they do for a living? What is their ecosystem service? Well, they eat fruits, they eat seeds, they eat leaves. Most importantly, they can actually disperse seeds through the forest, a little bit like what Kerere does, but on a smaller scale. This is really, really important. So these wetter are really part of Aotearoa. They're part of our forests. So how do you help them? Ha ha! Now you see, wetter love to live in dark little holes. So why not give them some of these dark little holes? Nail in the tree, piece of bamboo, little hole there for the nail, look at that. And this is a wetter motel. Honestly, this is what they like. It's dry, it's dark, and they come out at night to feed. You can also look at things like, how do they live together in one of those wetter motels? Do they live single? Do they have boyfriends and girlfriends living with them? You'll find there's quite often large communities of wetter living in bamboo tubes. It's stuff like that that you can work out in your own backyard.